Legion, it's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark. In our Vigilant Flame interlopers here. I almost said against all odds. Almost said it. But that's not what we're, uh, that's not what we're playing. Alright, so we got a fire going here. It's going to be going for another hour. And I am just going to make as many teas as I can manage. I'm going to have to be kind of crafty about this. Because we also have to prepare some tea ingredients. Okay, I want to drink this for the calories. We are getting cooking skill from this too. And how long until this boils exactly? 19 minutes until boiled. Okay, now I have just about that much time to prepare. I can make some additional teas. The issue is that we're still burning calories while we do this. So it's like... Uh... <laughs> And there's not a lot of time left on the fire, either. Hang on, how long does it take to break down a crate? Thank God, ten minutes. Alright, hang on. Okay, let's drink this, and then we'll take the rest of the water here. Looks like weather's gotten worse outside, which is not what I wanted to hear. This is what you call dire straits, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, hang on, how much time do we have on the fire? 33 minutes? Go ahead and break that down. See, that actually consumes calories, so I'm shooting myself in the foot with putting in that effort. Okay. Gonna drink that for the calories. So we're not, we're really just prolonging our lives for a few seconds here. If there's a blizzard outside, if that doesn't blow over, we could have a serious issue on our hands. Let's take a quick look here. Take that water out, and then I suppose we'll do a little bit more in the way of tea. And I can't afford... Well, actually I can't afford... I can't cook another tea if I were to prepare an, another one right now, but I, I can still go ahead and prepare some reishi mushrooms. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Lost my mind for a second. This is the crafting screen. For a second I was like, I have fishing tackle? What? I was genuinely excited, like, when did I get fishing tackle? I can fish! Not here, but I can fish. I would die before I got to fish, but I can fish! I got really excited. Alright, um... Let's stick these sticks on there and that'll be just enough time for this to finish. It's past time until we're ready. Let's take that water. And then I'm gonna need to pick up one of the cooking pots. And pick up one of the, um... Oh wait, did I, did I do what I think I just did? No, I didn't. Okay. So... Oh boy. So that sounds like absolutely abysmal weather outside. I cannot... Hang on, I'm also realizing I'm encumbered. And if I'm encumbered, that's it. That's gonna... Oh yeah, this is this is great. This is everything I wanted with my life this episode. This is exactly what I wanted to happen, and then some. Okay, so, we're encumbered. Can't be encumbered. That can't... that's not a thing that we can continue being. So, we're gonna drop one of these bedrolls. I hate to do it, because I would prefer normally to hang out and harvest that for, um, for cloth. But the thing is, harvesting those for cloth takes a long time. We don't have an hour and 30 minutes. We barely have an hour and 30 minutes to live, so we're not going to do that. I'm also going to drop this scrap metal, because why the hell am I carrying scrap metal? There's no reason to have scrap metal on me at this point. I've already made my metal things. Maybe I was just being ambitious and thinking, maybe I'll need the scrap metal later, but I don't need the scrap metal. I need to live. That's kind of the important thing. I'm going to drop this torch. Yeah, I could break it up for a stick, but I don't care about that. So... Bite me. Alright, uh, ooh. Hang on. This, however... go in place of... Oh yeah, very nice. So that shirt is a better warmth protection than what we had. And um, now, I still would do well to drop 
more things. Damn it. Have I read through any of these? No, none. Not a single. Oh, wait. Research already completed. Yes. Okay. Drop. Drop. All right. I didn't realize I was carrying books that I'd finished reading. My bad. That I will absolutely take the blame for. So, here's what we're going to do. There's a blizzard out here. Um, normally, going outside during a blizzard in the long dark is like the worst possible thing that you could do to yourself if you're trying to uh, generally stay alive. There's a wolf coming toward me. I'm going to go back inside. Never mind. <sighs> oh, God. This is lovely. How many calories do I have? 136. All those cattails I said I was going to find, those, uh, those sure panned out, didn't they? Alright, well... Hmm. Yeah, this, is, this was a very, very bad decision. Like I said, I haven't come to the Broken Railroad that much since it's been uh, implemented. The majority of times, the vast majority of times I've been here, I have done, I have uh, come to the Broken Railroad. Oh, I can't sleep on top of that bed anymore. I used to be able to sleep on top of that. That's kind of cool. Or that, that makes me sad. But I can sleep upstairs, I guess. Um, but yeah, the vast majority of times I have come to the Broken Railroad, I have found more here. But I guess I haven't been here that often on Interloper, have I? Nothing, nothing. This is me, like, triple, quadruple checking. Because I, I just need something. Like, if I had found even two or three cattails, I really did. I mean, you heard me last episode. I thought that there were going to be cattails in the thickets. Okay. Sleep for an hour. I thought there were going to be cattails in the thickets under that bridge. And then there weren't. That was painful. This blizzard has come along at a very, very bad time. Now, all right, and there it is. We're starving. So hungry. I'm about to turn voice all the way down to zero, Mark. That's what I have to say about that. Okay. Um, there's, there's nothing. There's just, there's just nothing here. This is barren. I'm- you can tell I'm stunned. It's like... It's mind-numbing. Alright, now we could... I could light... I don't have the means. I mean, I have um, reclaimed wood. I don't have another stick, so it would be tough to light another fire, but I could. We can get reishi mushrooms from that. Um, we did rest a little bit, so that helped us recover our strength. We'll need if we're going to climb down. But I'm going to I'm going to do what I said I was going to do a second ago, and we're just going to have to move fast. And right, I'm going to Skyrim down this way. Just don't want to get charged by that wolf again. And what I'm hoping is that... This is going to get us back down. I know where this is going to lead. I know exactly where I am. So it's it's not as bad as it looks. But it's still, it's still really bad. <laughs> if that's any consolation whatsoever. It's not as bad as it looks, but it's still goddamn terrible. So, uh, yeah. It's... This is, this is going to be dicey. But, okay. Now, we can't be out here very long at all. This is roughly where we started the fire before. And yes, there could be a wolf out here right now. That could kill us. See, there's our campfire. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. There it is, there's the hypothermia risk.
Yeah, I'm doing it. So cold. All right, that's a lot of cattails. If I can make it inside without getting my face eaten off, we could at least get our feet under us and recover some condition. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um... Uh... I don't have words right now. I the fact that we didn't run into a single wolf or running through a blizzard. Somebody told me in a comment, uh, when you guys are watching this episode, it will have been a week, eight or nine days before this episode aired. Somebody told me I had the luck of the devil. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to say you were right about that. This is insane. We're warming up. I have a th over a thousand calories in me. I am now back inside the, uh, wait, no, not quite, hang on. Now I'm back inside the, com the computer room. There's the bed. Holy crap. Holy actual crap. I'm not gonna get to sleep for 12 hours, but watch what's about to happen. Oh my god. This shouldn't be physically possible. Oh. My. God. I- I thought- I thought I was gone. Now, we're at 42% condition, I only have 522 calories left, and we're in the exact same position that we came in here with. But at least now we've been up to that area up there. The only thing is that I- I want to take a rope out to that- that other area that I haven't been to yet. I want to know what's out there. And, you know what, I think I will actually, I think I can afford to now. And it won't even be that heavy to carry it. Yeah, I think I will. All right, so I'm carrying this decent dress shirt. I'm gonna harvest it for cloth. You need a horse. I know, dude. Wow. All right. gonna double check to make sure there are no other books that I can drop. I'm really mad at myself for letting some of those slip. I didn't realize I hadn't dropped some of the stuff that I'd finished. All right, and we're gonna need more water before long. Um, it would behoove me to go ahead and have some some water getting ready, but I'm just gonna pass the time for a bit here. We're gonna pass the time for there we go. Hey! Uh-oh. Buffer memory time. Oh, this is weird. Mr. Dennis, I took one of the trucks over to the muskeg last night. Or over the muskeg last night. I think you should know... I... Wait. I think you should know there's some strange stuff going on over there in the run into Mystery Lake. I saw a man on the tracks, but he bolted before I could get very close. A couple minutes later, as I got closer to the tunnel, some idiots started throwing stones at my rig. Charlie took the truck back out of the shed this morning as I'm staying over here at the Briar House camp near Carter Dam to finish up. But if you're wondering why the windshield has a big old crack in it, that's why. Well, there's our first buffer memory. That's amazingly cool. 
But I also need to be really careful right now because... Wires. The wires could kill me. Alright, how many... I was wondering if that thing would work when the buffer... Uh, when the electricity was turned on, remember? <laughs> oh, that screen's kind of turning on a little bit. Weird. Craziness. Anyone remember the days when this couldn't happen in the long dark? I'm used to it now. Still really cool though. Alright. So I guess, how many calories do I have? I can sleep for an hour. I can get away with that. Recover a little bit more condition. And the Aurora sh yep, there go the Aurora there goes the Aurora. Oh no, hang on, it's still going. We did recover up to 43% condition. All I can think about is food. I know, dude, I'm working on it. We're we're gonna get there, but we gotta we gotta do one thing at a time here. Um Yeah, I can't go out there until this is completely done. Okay, now it's going to be freakishly cold when we step outside, but I know exactly where I'm going, and I'm reasonably sure I can dodge wolves on the way, and I may, if I'm lucky, if I can kind of spot while I'm walking, I may be able to grab some cattails too, if I can get a little frisky with it. Mountaineering rope? Tell me that's not a blizzard. Too much stuff to carry. That's a blizzard, isn't it? I don't hear the rattle. Sometimes it can sound like a blizzard, but it's not actually one. Yeah, it's just bad wind. Alright. I haven't been in that truck yet. Do 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 do. Come to think of it, I don't think I've been in either truck. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Cause I'm. I don't know what's down this next area, but I'm. I am fully rested. And if I can find a spot. Yeah, hang on. I'm looking around one last time here. Just want to make sure I'm not leaving anything terribly obvious uninvestigated. I looked through everything, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Ooh, weather seems to be getting a little better. Oh, I like the sound of that. Okay. Let's take advantage of this. How's my lantern? I totally forgot, by the way, that I have a lantern. Again, I was playing... The previous episode, I lit a torch to look around. The reason I did that is that... <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. I was playing earlier today, and I hadn't found a lantern yet. So That's the danger of doing test play while I've got a, a series going, is that my brain crosses. I remember that happened when I had... Um, against All Odds Season 4, and was it my last interloper run, or was it Survival School? Or I think it was Survival School, going at the same time. Um, that was pretty frustrating at points. Alright, I might have a little bit of water left after this, but I'm, it's not going to be much. Yeah, not going to be much at all, but at least I'm fully hydrated. Now, there's something I need to... Yep. Definitely need to drop that jerry can. And I'm still encumbered, but the thing is, that rope's going to get tied off, and then I'll be better. Alright, let's take this risk for the second time in two episodes. So hungry. Didn't work that time. Well. Curses. Curses, curses. I'm not sure how far the wolf followed me. 
I don't even know where the wolf was necessarily, but that's the direction I need to go, damn it. I mean, technically I could I could go back up this way and just I could just book it. And th I think there is one more vehicle I could potentially find. And there I mean there are other potential sources of food. I mean, I, I have enough condition now to potentially just get out of here. And maybe that's what I need to do because I know they're going to be cattails and forlorn muskeg. I thought I was going to find more here, and I did find the shirt here, so I, I, it's not been a complete loss. Maybe I just need to leave. All right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my way up here. There's a vehicle up at the top of this hill. I still have to move fast. I've got to drop this rope. As soon as I'm positive, I won't be able to use it, which I'm not yet. But I'm going to have to get out of here. The good news is, when I go back the other way, people have told me that um, I could have gone over the, uh, the landslide on the tracks coming this direction. I did not know that. You can go over the landslide, or at least what I did know, is that you can go over the tracks, or you can go over the landslide uh, on the tracks when you're coming the other way. Um, can I get over this, please? Thank you. I need to be able to see high. I knew I heard a wolf. I'm actually pretty pissed at Mark right now, because he started making noises and just grunting and being an idiot. Right at the same time, that wolf made noises near me, and it... You might have gotten confused, too, because I was like, wait, was that... Was that a wolf footsteps, or was that Mark making noise? And I thought, mm. See, that really does, like, I'm, I'm genuinely mad right now. Like, I kind of want to turn this off. Not because Mark complains, but because that just almost kept me from... Hearing a wolf. And how much condition did we lose from that fall? Almost 10%. Well, actually, some of the condition we've lost might be, just be from hunger, but... Let's check our clothing items. Can't feel my feet. Yeah, because you're an idiot and you had to run from a wolf at close range. All right, well, I might just try and make it back down the tracks. Oh, crap. Crap. I didn't realize we we're already that. How are we that cold already? Oh, oh no. Freezing. You are an idiot, dude. Son of a gun. I'm just gonna gun it. I would really like to drop that rope because it's weighing me down. But I can't get to my pack fast enough. Okay, good. That howl was the sound of the wolf giving up. This is the worst. Alright, if I can grab some sticks where I am now. There is a bunny. If there are some fresh sticks on the ground, I could light a fire by my old... I could light a fire in that tree, actually. Hang on. Hang on. We might be able to make something work here. Let's... It'll take seven minutes. I'll take those seven minutes. And I think I picked up a good number of sticks too, right? Yeah, I had left some sticks before, so I've got nine on me now. That's uh, just shy of an hour of fire. I could put a fire in that tree. Let's see if I can find a few more sticks. I need to have enough time to break down a, a limb, because there are some limbs nearby that I could use. And then if I could kill the rabbit that's wandering around, I might be able to make it out of this situation. Hang on. Drop. Get out of my damn inventory. Yeah, coming this way was a genuinely terrible idea. And I shouldn't have done it. I 
fully admit that. With no reservations. Magnifying lens, 75% chance of success. Hell yes. First time I've successfully used the magnifying lens to start a fire in a long time. I just wish I had something... Come on. Come on. I wish there were sticks laying around a little bit more abundantly than they are right now. Yeah, we are at fire starting level two, so that's good at least. It worked. All right, now we need this thing to be nice and hot in order to do me any good. At least it's going, though, so let me take a look around for sticks that I might not have spotted. That's a branch. Or that's a limb. Conditions getting pretty low. Not good. Yeah, this is not at all what was supposed to happen. I was thinking I'd find a good bit more cattails around that lake. And I am now thoroughly regretting thinking that. Alright, now we are above freezing. That's the good news. We're no longer dying from cold, but we have to sit right here. Hmm. This would technically be enough time to cook a bunny if I could peg one with a rock. And this thing is completely protected from the wind, so no matter how bad the temperature gets, for now, as long as the temperature doesn't I mean no matter how bad the, the wind temperature gets, it's not gonna it's not gonna blow out. No matter no matter how bad the wind blowing different directions gets, it shouldn't blow out. Unless the wind blows like straight into the tree, which I've never seen happen. But um, if the temperature drops for any reason, this is not going to help us. We need a hotter fire. And the thing is, how long is it going to take to break this up? Let's look. Cedar limb, 58 minutes. So and cold. the trouble is, it's too cold over there. Just want to lay down for a bit. Yeah, I know. You just want to lay down for a bit. If you lay down for a bit, you're going to die, Mark. So maybe don't. Maybe consider not laying down for a bit. Now, there's a bunny right there, but I need something to throw at him. No weapons in inventory. Thank you, game. That was That's brilliant. Brilliant observation right there. I wish I could just run up and grab him. I've said that before. Like the fact that the fact that he's walking right there and I can't just pick him up makes me I mean look, he doesn't even know I'm here. I totally could have just snagged him. Alright, here's a rock though. Yep. Yep. Ten percent. Dude. Dude. Dude, I need to kill you right now. So, if you could not be a little punk. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> of course I didn't hit him. Why would I have expected to hit him? I've never been able to hit a bunny in my life with the stone throwing mechanics in the lawn dark. Now you're asking me to do it when my life depends on it? No, that's ridiculous. This is silly. Well, you take gambles in the long dark, and... They don't always pay off. Oh my god, you are freaking kidding me! I think we're done. Ugh. 
you are joking. How can this be? Like, do I have to just lead the target more? Is that what it is? 4% condition. Yeah, we're done. Well, this is one of the more frustrating conclusions to a long dark run that I've had. I'm not going to be able to get back to the fire in time. I mean, I could get back to the fire to keep me alive for a moment longer, but the thing is, I think the only thing I'd be able to do would be potentially cook some tea, and starvation would kill me before then. So I'm at least going to stand over by the fire. Oh, whoa! Uh, uh, just kidding. I'm, I'm going to be over here instead. What? Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, goodness. The game doesn't know where it wants to put me. I've never lurched around this badly before. Whoa. All right. 1% condition. We're just going to lay down our hats here. All right. Could I not? I'll die if I don't warm up soon. I was trying to be cinematic. I was like, let me just sit by the fire and we'll watch it comfortably. But no, I'm not moving right now. My character is moving on his own. On his own. And there he goes. So. Pretty much summarized what, rent, what uh, went wrong there already. What did we do? We got 18 days survived. 67 locations discovered. 30% of the world explored. Not bad. 50,862 calories expended, 2,825 average calories per day, 41 miles traveled, 266 hours awake, 178 hours rested, 304 hours indoors, and 140 uh, hours outdoors. So yeah, um, definitely my best uh, interloper run on my current uh, saves. The, the same thing happened with that interloper run that has happened with every interloper run that I've done. Either on or off YouTube. And... I haven't played Interloper a lot, and I've talked about it a little bit in the series, and I guess I'll talk a little bit more now. Um, first of all, disclaimer, I'll say categorically up front, going to Broken Railroad, terrible idea. I should have hung out uh, on Forlorn Muskeg more, and I, I should have just grabbed some more cattails and then headed back into Mystery Lake, as opposed to going to the Broken Railroad. I really thought that there would be some good stuff. But, and especially, I thought I would find more cattails on the lake. And there probably were more cattails on the lake. But I was... The other mistake that I made, in addition to going to the Broken Railroad, was that I genuinely had a false memory that there were going to be more cattails on the rivers. Because I knew there were wolves on that lake. And I was like, well, I can skirt the lake and just go to the... Uh, and just, and just you know, hang out on the rivers and get some... Um, and get some cattails that way. And I was counting on that for food, obviously. When I was heading up to the, the country club or whatever, I was I was counting on that, and it didn't pan out. And if not for the frickin' rock throwing mechanics, which I'm still a little bit pissed about, like, um, one day I'll figure it out. But there's, there's so much variation in where the rock goes with each throw that it just... There's a lot of luck built in, I, I find, to hitting stuff with rocks in the Lawn Dark. It's even more frustrating than, um, you know, some of the rifle shots I've taken in my YouTube content have been. I've, I've mostly learned, you know, how to, you know, when not to take a shot when I think I'm going to get it. But you saw, I mean, close quarters, rabbits right there. We've got him right between the forefinger and the thumb. Like, I get it that maybe I need to lead the target a little bit more, but th there needs to be a little bit of compensation. I'm not talking about aim assist. I'm talking about after the player clicks throw, the game needs to take into account like the the time that the animation is going to take because that's ultimately what um what did me in and maybe i need to take that into account you know to include that in the disclaimer that that's something that i can be better at and i'll definitely practice but i think the majority of games um have not aim assist built in but they have it um set to where once you take a shot um as long as your aim was true when you took the shot um, the game will, uh, if, if there's something like an animation that is uh, not a sudden animation, like a character moving their head when you're taking a headshot with a bow and arrow, I'm thinking of Assassin's Creed Origins right now, but like, but if there's, if a character is moving, the game will help you, you know, keep your aim on a moving target. Um, and maybe I'm spoiled by that. Maybe I've been playing games that have that function and playing the long dark, I need to be a little bit better. But again, some, something about those stone throwing mechanics still eludes me. And maybe I'll be able to get better at it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll care. Maybe I won't. I really don't know. 
So I'll admit there were some problems there, and there were, of course, problems with the going to Broken Railroad. All of that being said, here's my thing with Interloper difficulty, and this is the reason Against All Odds Season 5 is not going to be an Interloper season. This is the reason I save Interloper for these special miniseries that are just showcasing new runs, and we have some nice, intense moments. Um, Interloper puts you way too much on rails for my tastes. Um, especially because you don't have access to uh, knives or hatchets. Um, you don't have access to the rifle. Uh, you're, you have to do so many things in a certain order just to feel like you're getting started. If you don't find matches early on, you're screwed. We saw that at the beginning of this run before I had to start over again. Then we found tons of matches. It started raining matches all the way until the end there. We were finding matches nonstop. But... Um, Interloper really forces you... It takes the sand out of the sandbox, almost. Like, it, it takes the freedom of exploration out and keeps you from being able to... Um, you know, fully experience, you know, the, the, the normal uh, long, dark sandbox experience that we get in Stalker. So, when I plan against All Odd Season 5, uh, we are actually... The, the intro to that season is going to be pretty intense because I'm going to spend a good amount of time. I might do a separate little mini-episode for the people that want to see the details. It's going to be, in some ways, harder than Interloper. And I hinted at some of those things uh, in the last episode. There, there are going to be some things that are deliberately designed to make it more like Interloper was initially described to be, which I believe I've mentioned earlier in this series as well as in Against All Odds Season 4. Um, when Interloper was announced, they were talking about how wildlife population was supposed to be reduced from, say, Stalker, but uh, when you ran into wildlife, it was super scary. And I'm kind of going for that feel, where you don't run into bears or wolves as much, which is what I was talking about in the last episode, but when you do, it is something to worry about, and you have to be very mindful. So, um, so there's definitely going to be some stuff there, and I'm also changing some other settings, uh, some of which I've hinted at in the past. If you're paying attention, you know what those things are. I'm not going to spoil it now, but I've, I've dropped hints from time to time, so those of you who are uh, very erudite about paying attention to you know, what I'm going to be doing with future Against All Odds stuff um, might be able to guess, but there are some things that I can do to make it harder than Interloper, but at the same time, uh, I'm going to set things up to where we will have the rifle, and I believe, in, in the run that I was mentioning earlier, um, where I had, was playing earlier today on a different run, kind of on the, on the settings I'm going to use for Against All Odds Season 5, I believe that I... Um, have set it to where the, the rifle, um, I'm sorry, the knife and the, um, and the hatchet are discoverable as well, but I haven't found any yet. So um, they're, t they're definitely going to be tough to find, for sure. And um, actually, let's go ahead and save that journal, why not? And so that's, the, the loot tables are still going to be just as barren as interloper loot tables. You're still going to find things very rarely, but there's going to be better items discoverable from time to time. Uh, like the rifle, for instance, will be in the game world. Bullets will be in the game world. So there will be some things, uh, and there will be other little tiny settings too. For instance, I think I talked about earlier in this series, maybe five, six or seven episodes ago now, maybe ten episodes ago, that um, the condition recovery in Interloper is tuned down from Stalker. You really recover slowly, and it's a little bit stupid. Um, I really prefer uh, to have things be a little bit more balanced with... Um, with that aspect of, of the game, like with the condition recovery. So we'll have that more in the stalker area. But again, when I, when I set up against a lot season five, which is what I'm going to launch, uh, I'm going to do against a lot season five. Some of you have asked about this. If you haven't seen me answer the question yet, let me say this categorically right now so that everyone's clear against a lot season five will come out when the next update to the long dark sandbox drops. So it's going to be a while, but the point of that is to get me excited for it, not just to make you guys wait. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to make you guys wait. I want to make myself wait because I want to be really, really stoked for the new season of Against All Odds. Because again, I mean, look, I've played the long dark a lot, a lot on this channel. And um, I just want to make sure that when we go for that fifth season of that flagship series, um, certainly one of my flagship series, um, you know, that, that it's something that is like, that I'm chomping at the bit to do. And so I want to give myself plenty of time between long dark runs. Um, so we're going to do that. But uh, when I launch against All Odd Season 5, again, that episode 1 will cover all of this. We will talk about what is each custom setting set to. Literally every single one. I'll go through them. And I will do a little bit of editing. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but I'll do a little bit of editing to show you whether something is stalker level, um interloper level between stalker and interloper 
harder than interloper. You know, there's there's going to be settings all over the place. There are even a few. I think there might even be one or two settings that I set to Voyager level stuff, but they're they're not they're not big settings. They're little tiny tweaks um, that change uh, that change certain variables, um, while other things are more difficult. So it doesn't really change the overall difficulty. It just kind of changes the focus of where the difficulty lies. Uh, like I said, in one in one case, you have the animals that are more rare, but when you run into them, they're super scary. So um, that's going to be, I think, an interesting season when it hits. But um, one of the things that I'm most excited about, you know, my point in saying all of that, really, is that, you know, it'll be a more true long dark experience in that we're not going to have to, like, beeline for Forlorn Muskeg or beeline for um, Desolation Point. As much as I am confident in how to achieve, you know, uh, stability in Interloper and, and playing, you know, uh, an Interloper game and surviving for long periods, I mean, I, I feel like I could do it. You know, th this is my longest Interloper run in this current playthrough. I think we had a longer one in uh, Faithful Cartographer, didn't we? Was it slightly longer than 18 days? It was similar length. But, like, the motivation is kind of lacking, to tell you the truth, because I enjoy the typical sandbox experience so much more um, it's just as intense but you don't feel like you have to go to a specific place and uh, it's a little bit less immersion breaking in that way so um, that's just my little mini interloper uh, <laughs> uh, diatribe <laughs> that's my mini interloper rant but I will um, I'll look forward to seeing your guys' uh, comments on that. That was, I, I'm I'm not thrilled with the way that that ended. That was uh, not substantially epic, and I'm really annoyed that Mark stumbled around like an idiot after I tried to sit him down by the fire. It's like, dude, just die like a normal person, please. Can you not stumble around like travel ten feet sideways in, through time and space while we're just trying to have a quiet, peaceful death by the fire you just lit? Um, yeah. Feel free to. Uh, discuss alternative strategies because there's going to be some people watching this that are you know really trying to you know survive for this long or longer in interloper and i want to make sure that you know we can have some some good discussion about things that can be done to avoid this situation i've already floated some ideas but you know it's always good to have multiple people's perspective eh, excuse me perspectives so um we could definitely talk about that when uh once this episode goes live, I look forward to uh, talking to you guys about it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the series, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to follow along. Like I said, the new season of Against All Odds will be coming out uh, whenever the next update drops, which, you know, we just had this one, so it's, it's going to be a second, but it, I would imagine it would be later this year if you go with Hinderland's typical update calendar. We'll have to see. If I get the sense that it's going to be a really long time, sure, I'll reconsider. But for now, I'm, I'm confident that they're going to keep up a certain rhythm, and so I'm going to stay on rhythm with them, and we'll have that series launch at that point. So I hope you'll join me for Against All Odds Season 5, which will be my next um, full against uh, or full of the Long Dark series on this channel. And I am already looking forward to it. Again, thanks for watching. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next series.